I'm with Bryce from the Rocket Summer again, so it's always a pleasure. So, um, Absolutely. But what has been a memorable moment for you on Warp Tour this so, uh, on this tour? Memorable moment. That's kind of a... <laughs> it is hard to say. I don't mem <laughs> memorable moment. Um, yeah. Let's see. Uh, you know, DC was a, was a good moment. I feel like it, the, the, the great moments are when you have the great set times mm -hmm. and the stars align and everyone comes to your show. Yes. <laughs> We Not played, like played, today. Yeah, I missed played, you guys today. Yeah, you and you and like Everybody. five thousand other people. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, sometimes you go first. Yeah. And and you just gotta deal with it. <laughs> no, I know when I. And saw then you get that. to deal with everyone saying that they missed you and oh. blaming you for it. But <laughs> I, as if I, I chose I, it. I know, and it's like <laughs> anybody that has been to Warp Tour knows it's not your fault. It's yeah, like yeah. Nobody actually ever says anyway. No band would ever in their right mind say, "I want to go first." Yeah. <laughs> Can absolutely. I just play for a few people? I don't want to. Yeah, play. yeah. So that's, but um, well, what about what's your favorite thing about the Warp Tour? Um, my favorite thing about it is uh, I just love that this is an environment where you get to play for a lot of people that perhaps wouldn't come see you otherwise, that maybe know about you a little bit, maybe know like, a couple of your songs. It's kind of like a, it's a tour just for getting getting a whole bunch of people out and, and uh, aware about what you're doing. I just put out a new record, you know, so mm -hmm. this is a good tour to just kind of. Uh, explain, you know, play some songs off that, and tell people I have a new record out that that aren't like diehard fans, you know. But our diehard fans are here too, some of them. So yeah. <laughs> some of them, some of them, some of them aren't diehard enough to, to bear the heat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. But, and the re new record sounds great, by the Thank way. You. I mean, you'll, you. you'll see what I thought of it. In the, oh, cool! The, I can't wait to read it. Yeah. But I, you this know, is surreal. I know. Wow. I know. I, I turned it the other way. I'm like, I don't want to freak Bryce out when he walks in. It's like, no. well, that's just all me. But yeah. No, that's cool. So yeah, well, like I said, I've, I've you know followed you for you know quite a few years now, and you know Thank I you always so enjoy much. what you do. Thank so you. that means a lot. To yeah. Me. Um, and then, what's one thing that you would like to see that could make Warp Tour better, even for whether it's even just for you for the bands? I mean, what would you like to see done? To make it better? Yeah. Um, to be totally honest, mm -hmm. well, yeah. <laughs> um, I think uh, I think making sure it's even like when what what who gets what set times because for example in the past two and a half weeks we played first six times. Oh yeah. wow! Yeah. And it's starting to get it's starting to wear on me. <laughs> sure. I'm starting to get a little annoyed about that, and so. Um, just because it's, you know, the next day we play and it's like a three or something and we play in front of a huge crowd. And so it's kind of like, you know, I've just been doing this for a long time and so that can sometimes get a little bit like, wow. But but I understand that that's part of it and I'm totally fine with it. But but when it's when it's more than other bands, that can start getting annoying. <laughs> well, yeah, especially when it's other bands that haven't been around right. as long. Yeah, it's like, yeah. Hey, yeah you, you can't help but kind of keep a little mental tab like, <laughs> yeah. I've <not> seen them. <laughs> yeah, today, today, today we just, after we played, we were like, all right, let's do the math. So we did the math. So that was like fresh in my mind, but I'm oh, cool. Yeah. I'm still thankful to be be a part of it, and uh, I do love Warped Tour, and it's a, it's a good vibe. And um, regardless of, so, I mean, you just ask what can make it better, and that's I would just oh, say yeah. I would say making it, making, making it sure, even. yeah, making it even. Yeah. yeah. That makes it. That's I, I I like honesty, so yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, good and bad. I mean, yeah. it's, that's good. Um, if you could, you know, if Kevin came over to you and said, okay. Add one band and and I'll I'll put them on. Who would you like to? Who would you oh, have added man. to this year's tour? Wow. Well, of course the bands that I'm thinking of would probably never do it. <laughs> like U2 or something. <laughs> right. Um, but, McCartney. Uh, yeah, McCartney or U2. I'm trying to think. Um, like realistically, right. like some band in this uh, genre, if you will, or whatever this genre right. is. It's like 20 genres, but yeah. Um, Huh. I'm trying to think. Polar Bear Club was on it for like half of it, and I wish they were on it for the whole thing. Mm -hmm. So I would have said just keep them on the whole thing. Yeah, no, that's they're a, good, a cool band. Yeah, so. I've heard good things about them. Yeah. I haven't actually seen them, but one of my friends had done some stuff with them, and mm -hmm. yeah, he's like, oh, I love them. Yeah. So that would be that's a good one. Yeah, they're cool. Yeah. <laughs> um, then what band on this tour that hasn't reached ten albums? Which one has the best chance of hitting ten albums and remaining relevant as well? Um, <laughs> let's see. Uh, I brought this question back from last year too because yeah. I, I was like, oh, this, this turned let's out interesting. Um, I'm trying to think, as far as like longevity, 
Mm-hmm. Of course, I'd like to think that would be me. Of course, but, um, yes. <laughs> well, I already put, put, figured you in there. Yeah. Um, other than that, uh, there's, there's got to be some. Well, uh, I think the All American Rejects. The All American yeah. Rejects. Uh, they played. I mean, they're definitely well on their way to just having a very long and fruitful mm-hmm. career as long as Tyson keeps. Uh, popping out those hits, <laughs> so <laughs> keep turning them out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then after that kind of tough question, I came up with a mystery question. And actually, okay. I started doing it last year, but basically I just put a bunch of numbers in a hat, well, in a bag, okay. and then it's just fun questions. So you can pick one, and we'll see what you end up with. Alrighty. So yeah, I try to make it lighter after. It's nice. <laughs> Eleven. <laughs> yeah, Eleven. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, just a beach like scene that. on the other. <laughs> this is lovely. I'm just gonna <laughs> think you. about this <laughs> yeah. while I go and what's I'm very nice heated. This, <laughs> this is really what's happened. <laughs> um, Eleven is the most accident-prone band on this tour. Um, probably Breathe Carolina. Yeah. What I would happened have to them? I don't know what's happened to them. I just they just seem to be always like I don't know, a little goofy, if you know what I mean. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> so I could see them falling off stage or something. <laughs> that works. You're gonna get me in so much trouble after this. No, that's I'm a, no, that's, <laughs> there's nothing wrong with it. We're just, no, it's fun. That's the reason. Hey, I could have asked you some other ones that would have been. It would have been worse. <laughs> yeah, like but, smelliest band and all those. Um, that's a, so. You got a lot. I'd have one. to say my crew for that one. Oh, for that one. Yeah, they don't they don't shower too often. But we have to force them to do it. It's oh, like, yeah. All right, it's it's, um, it's disturbing the peace on the bus. Oh yeah. I can smell you back here. Of all the charities that are on this tour, is there one like which one would you say is your favorite? I mean, of course, you know. It's, I mean, there. I mean, it's there's not like lot. the others suck, but you know, right, which one right. do you gravitate more to? There's a lot on this tour. There are. I mean, I'm, I've always been an avid supporter of so many different causes, and, that's and you like have a, your own stuff. Too, yeah, right. I mean. But uh, you know, um, I think one of even the most popular ones on the tour is Invisible right. Children, but I think it's because they should be because of what they're doing and the uh, attention that they've brought to what's happening in Uganda with. The kids being abducted, and Jesse Coney, and all that. So, um, so we try to support them on this tour. I mean, we support everybody. I'm, I'm how can you not? You know. So. Three items that you can't live without on the tour. Um. Well, let's see, my iPod, uh, so that I can cleanse my brain of all the music the, from the day that perhaps I'm not. Really wanting to listen to. Sure. <laughs> um, sure. I am, this is like the craziest uh, interview ever. I'm, oh. just, I'm, I'm kind of like I'm gonna get in so much trouble. Um, no, you're not. No. And uh, um, my my uh, my my phone, so I can check Facebook and post photos yeah. of uh, the shows, which I do every day. Uh, I take photos of the crowd and have them tag themselves. In oh, that's it. right. I've seen that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, because you're one of you're on my yeah. Facebook. So yeah, it's like tag yourself. Oh, yeah, God. yeah. <laughs> so you miss it, but today today I'll I'll throw that out there pretty soon. And then uh, oh, cool. last but not least, um, and and this sounds so cheesy, but uh, you have to bring a good attitude yeah. <laughs> on this tour. It's it can it can wear you down. So it's like a choice. I mean, it's very it's a very awesome tour, but after six weeks. Heat and you know all this stuff. You can start to be a little bit like, all right, about that. I'm kind of over it, you know. Um, but uh, so you have to bring, you have to bring like a really good positive outlook on it, and um, and see all the good that is on the story because there, there really is a lot of good on it. Yeah. So and if anybody can do that, I know you can. So uh, yes, we'll <laughs> you're doing good. I yes, try. yes, you're doing fine. <laughs> yeah. and it's and it's okay to have some times or days that yeah. are just like not so good. So yeah. it's, hey, you're you're human. We right. all are. So right. um, then what are I mean, everybody's had them, but like one or two items that you're like, you packed and you're like, I should have left this at home. <laughs> Why did I even pack this? Yeah. Well, we um, we went out for like three months or four months right before this with the Goo Dolls. And then we headlined Europe. And so after that, I took out a lot of stuff. So I, I kind of like left everything behind that I didn't need. But I did bring a jacket yeah. on this tour, which is kind of funny. Yeah. But there was one day... We played Ventura, and at the end of the night, we were on the beach. It kind of was chilly, so I put it on. Nice. I'm gonna use this at least yeah. once. Yeah, that's about that's about the craziest thing I brought. It's kind of like wow. Every day when I look at it, I'm just like. Plans after this tour wraps up. What are you guys doing? I'm gonna do something really special this fall. Yeah. 
Yeah, I can't say it just yet because okay. it's not officially locked okay. in. That's okay. But it's gonna be it's gonna be a really special tour that um, something I've never done before in my whole career. So it'll be really cool. Is it for fans? Is it possibly going to come to Florida? Or I mean, it's, I know it. I definitely put that on my list. Okay. So, okay. Yeah. That's cool. That's that. You know, that's the. I think Orlando. I, I think Orlando would probably be. Uh, I mean, Orlando is one of my favorite places to play in the whole world. Yay. So, um, so, so yeah. I definitely made sure that that was on the list. So, a lot of times I don't get to pick that, but I sent our people <laughs> sure. like a, a wish list of cities and everything. So, oh, well, but, yeah. oh, that's good. So, I'll just have to keep a lookout. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, awesome. And then, uh, lastly, what message do you have for the Rocket Summer fans? Well, thank you just for supporting this and that uh, you guys are legitimately 50% of this. And, uh, you know, I couldn't do this form for you. So, Thank you for being a part of it and thank you for supporting it and uh, let's just keep doing this forever and ever. I want to do interviews with you every year for like the next 20 years. I want to do the so. same thing. So <laughs> you just keep bringing stuff out All and you right. keep coming around All and right. I'll keep, I'll well, keep coming out. It's a deal. So. <laughs>